Woke reboot of Snow White delayed until 2025 following backlash. You know, when is woke Hollywood's going to learn that uh, no one wants this crap? No one wants this. these agendas pushed on them. We want wholesome, traditional uh, movies and, and, and cartoons and uh, we don't want this this stuff that they're pushing. I mean, who do they consult when they come up with this stuff? It's ridiculous to me. You wonder when are they going to ever learn their lesson anytime soon. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know. Um, but before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button. Share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Um, also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon where I talk about things I can't talk about here. There's also a link to my Instagram. Um, where I put a bunch of news out there and on uh, my merch store. Also check out jjdecyclotherapist.com for news as well. All right, let's talk about this news. Live action remake of Disney's beloved animated classic, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, which faced criticism for its modernized approach and its unpopular lead actor, has been postponed for a year, raising doubts about its release. I think either they're going to put someone else in Ziggler's role because she she destroyed the movie <laughs> or they're just going to scrap it all together. I, I don't I really don't know right now. Uh, they might have said they might believe that it's more it's causing more of a headache than what it's worth. I mean, how do you get rid of the dwarfs <laughs> and you get rid of you have one dwarf everywhere and then the characters are, are diverse and like, what are they thinking? I, I, I really don't understand. <laughs> what are they thinking? But the Hollywood Reporter revealed on Friday that the transformation of the 1937 iconic animated film, cherished by generations for nearly 90 years, have been pushed back from its original planned release date to 2025. Uh, Disney's live-action Snow White movie starring Rachel Zegler uh, was officially delayed by a year, moving from March, 2020, March 22, 2024 to March 21st, 2025, 20, uh, so a whole year. Uh, this film is one of Disney's major releases for the year and a cornerstone of its spring lineup, according to the entertainment website. Images of Rachel Zegler and CGI dwarfs have uh, surfaced on social media as Disney appears to have abandoned the idea of replacing the original sidekicks with the more diverse array of magical creatures, a concept associated with the trend of increasing diversity in Western culture and institutions. I mean, it's just, this is crazy to me. I, I, I don't know who approved this. <laughs> Why would you destroy a classic like, uh, like Snow White? But Disney's website states that, quote, that Disney Snow White uh, live action musical uh, reimagining See, they love that word, reimagining of the 1937 classic will hit theaters on March 21st, 2025. Uh, the film star Rachel Zegler transports audience, uh, audiences back to the enchanting world of Snow White with beloved songs and iconic characters such as the Evil Queen and the Seven Dwarfs. And I always, I, and I pointed out before, the reason why the Queen hated Snow White so much because she was beautiful. But in this, the queen it actually looks better than Snow White. It's crazy to me. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what they were thinking. But the updated Snow White has faced harsh criticism from those who object to the alteration of the original story. And we know that um, South Park made a whole joke on it. I haven't watched it yet, but I've seen clips of it. South Park did a whole uh, did a whole show on how Hollywood has gone woke and and re so-called reimagining these characters and putting putting people in certain roles and stuff like that and um and, and from the clips i've seen south park is super duper funny <laughs> and um i can't wait to check it out i'm probably check it out uh, sometime this weekend but um the son of the director of the 1937 classic even expressed his strong disapproval suggesting that his father and walt disney himself would disapprove of the new version. Of course they would. Of course they would. Um, adding to the controversy is Rachel Zegler, who not only lacks the same ethnicity as the original character, but also publicly criticized the original film. And that's the main thing. I mean, the whole ethnicity thing, okay, I can get, I can get past that. But she just like, <laughs> she just 
straight bash the original and and traditionalism like and and basically making it like the uh the one of the main characters the um, prince who went to save Snow White is actually just a side character and he doesn't really save her and stuff like that. Like, why would you change the story like that? But the rescheduled release date sparked lively discussions among users on the internet. And Clay Travis, the founder of Outkick and a nationally syndicated talk uh, radio host, shared his prediction. He said, uh, Disney announced today that they are delaying their woke live action Snow White remake released by a year. The movie will not come out in 2025. Here's a prediction. It's never getting released. I, I, I don't know about that. that. I mean, it would take a huge loss on that by not releasing it at all, but maybe it's a lot, it'll be a lot, um, it's better for them to not release it than release it because of the outrage and, and people going to be boycotting Disney and all that other stuff. Maybe they just don't want to uh, put up with that. But um, reactions to Disney's delay of his recent box office uh, has some really, really, <laughs> really, really funny comments. Um, so let me let me pull up some of the comments that people are making. It's super duper hilarious. You got um, one guy. Uh, one guy said, "Oh no!" But it it looks so good. And Rachel Zegler was going was going so was going such a good, good job promoting it. Uh, they were being uh uh they were being uh, sarcastic. So um one person tweeted uh one person named Hill vs. Babyface tweeted, Snow White delayed a year to March twenty twenty five. Will it ever come out? It's gonna be a re is it gonna be reshot? We have Rachel Zegler poisonous attitude. I agree with that. Um someone else tweeted, couldn't this be a way to redeem themselves and backtrack on the whole culture push? I could see that uh I could see it that way if the new movie had major corrections. Y'all don't understand. Hollywood is broke. They're done. They're morally bankrupt. I don't see them going back and, and fixing it and making it back traditional. Um then someone named Britt tweeted out, uh, might want to scrap the actress who had a deep hatred for Snow White as well. I agree. Um, someone else posted, remove her to, uh, someone named Sal, uh, tweeted out, San Brown and the seven pronouns. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie, that's funny. Um, and someone named Swan tweeted out, yet another example of corporations attempting to ride the woke wave without understanding their audience. Maybe next time Disney will prioritize storytelling over trend chasing. And that's a wonderful wonderful point there uh, I'll, I'll go over one more person named johnny pride one say scrap the whole film and start again i don't think they should start again i think they should just be done with snow white we know daily i think it's daily mail have a snow white coming out soon um and it's sticking to uh traditionalism when it comes to theirs but what's a renowned brand known for creating enduring family-friendly entertainment over decades Disney has now uh, is is now more associated with accusations of influencing children and promoting the LGBTQ plus themes. Um, as um, the son of the original director put it, Walt Disney would likely be distressed to see what has happened to his company at the hands of progressive individuals. But let me know what you think. Leave your comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe. And check out JJThePsychotherapist.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace.